Welcome to Football Universe's first helmet review and comparison. In today's review, we'll be comparing the Riddell Revo Speed and the Adams Dominate X. Both of these helmets are high-end and well available on the open market. And we're going to find out which one you should buy this season. Now as you can see, the Revo Speed's futuristic design and ultimate comfort capabilities make it what is maybe the number one helmet out today. But the Adams Dominate X is going to be out to change that in today's review. The Adams Dominate X, while possibly not looking the part of the Revo Speed, definitely has its strong suits. For one, the white stripe over the helmet definitely gives it the graphic advantage over the Revo. Two, the visibility. Unmatched by any other helmet on the market. This is the best helmet for seeing your field in front of you and breaking tackles. Because that's the point of football is to break tackles and score points. As we look inside the Revolution, you can tell it has the gel custom form to your head pads, which can help for comfort. The jaw pads are slightly stiff and the forehead could be softer. But as we flip to the outside of the helmet, you can see it has inflatable air holes where you can inflate the helmet to fit your custom head style. Overall, the comfort of this helmet is almost unparalleled by any helmet except for the Ion 4D. I mean, this is shit. This helmet is absolute shit when it comes to comfort. The jaw pads are rock solid. The forehead pad is rock solid. Literally, that is rock solid. Here's the sound of the camera on the helmet. This is a cheap foam on the inside here that is also rock solid, and most of this helmet is a plastic liner. Notice the no inflatable air holes anywhere on the helmet to inflate it, and you've got yourself one absolute piece of shit. Our next test we have is the visibility test. We've tuned our television set to ESPN, and we'll be placing the camera inside the helmets to give you an up-close and personal view of what you'll be able to see in the football arena. First, the Revo. Now, as you can see, the bars in Parasite, some part of your view, and the visor could be a little less dark. As you can see, Tom the Touchdown Kitty in the background is slightly faint, and overall, the visibility in this helmet could be a tad better. Secondly, we'll get inside the Adams Dominate X. Let's check out the visibility. As you can see, the view from this helmet is unrivaled. There is literally no part of the helmet impairing your view. Tom the Touchdown Kitty is definitely clear. You can see part of the national championship game. And this is just overall probably the best viewed helmet on the market in terms of visibility from the interior of the helmet, where it's going to be on your head when your head's inside it. So give me a thought on the visibility of the two helmets. The thought's definitely pretty good, but uh, if you get hit in the face, you're kind of screwed. We'll get to that next. <laughs> next, we'll be testing the protection of the two helmets. As you can see, Show has buckled up his Revo Speed, and instead of getting a fully-fledged NFL linebacker to hit him, we're going to go with the second best thing. A rock-hard, immovable object, an unstoppable force known as a pillow. Let's see how Shobe reacts to a big hit. Show, tell me how that felt. <laughs> it didn't feel like anything. He's laughing off the pain. <laughs> Overall, out of a score of 10, what would you give that? Definitely a 10. Definitely a solid 10? Yeah. We'll see about that when it's compared to the Adams Dominate X. The Adams Dominate X will definitely end up killing me. I mean, this is... How am I supposed to stop anything from hitting my face? Luckily for me, though, thanks to a liability release by the Adams Corporation, it says that this helmet will only protect me from blows to the back and sides of the head. So instead of having me take a full-on hit to the face, hit me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
overall, I didn't really feel that at all. I mean, it was kind of a, it was kind of a, you know, kind of a light glancing blow, you know, really. To test the heat efficiency of the two helmets, we're popping them in the oven. Nazi status. Let's set it up for three minutes on 450 degrees. Three minutes later, let's check out how the helmets fared. Oh my god! Okay, um, the Adams has uh, had a slight problem with the management of the heat. Um, the Riddell is definitely uh, held up a little better. Overall, I think that's a successful test. I mean, we one of them's going to stand up to when it gets hot, the other one's not. Simple as that. Well, um, after our heat efficiency test, we uh, were left with one helmet, and that's the, uh, that's the Riddell Revolution Speed. Now, most reviewers would choose to end the review now, but we decided not to. We thought there were still things to test, like the value for money, the weight of the helmet. So we called up Adams. We got a new Dominate. X. It's time to test weight. Show, will you pick up your revolution? Now tell me, how heavy does that feel in your hands? Not very heavy. Now let's compare it to a, to a common object. I mean, what could you think of, like a brick? Maybe a <laughs> concrete sack? Maybe a small child. A small child. You would compare your helmet to a small child. Yes, I would. I would compare the Adams to maybe maybe like five pounds of feathers. <laughs> I mean, that's a really, really light helmet. Made of feathers. I mean, if you, if you imagine it's feathers, five pounds of feathers, that's, what, that's how heavy this is. It's light. Watch this. I got no restriction in my neck mobility. Show's gonna struggle. <laughs> Look at him, he's struggling right now. His moves aren't grooving. His moves aren't grooving there, here. Now overall, I think people will enjoy both of these helmets. But show, let's get to the price. Tell me, in total, how much does that helmet cost? With the visor and the chin strap and all that? With all your custom modifications, how much does that helmet cost? Probably about $12. $12. Now let's take $12 and multiply that by a, eh, 300 Okay, maybe not that much. I don't know what the math on that is. It was like 420 It was about $420. Shout out to uh, Colorado. <laughs> now let's check out the Adams. This helmet brand new would probably cost around $100. But thanks to the slight, you know, vacancy of the face mask and chin strap. This helmet was available to us at the low cost of 50 bucks. If you want the stripe on top, it's 69. Overall, we have some scores for the two helmets. The Riddell Revo Speed scored a 9.5 in looks, an 8 in comfort, a 7.5 in visibility, an 8.5 in heat efficiency, an 8.5 in weight, a 9 in protection, and a 4 in value for the $420 price. Comes up to a total score of 55 points. The Adams Dominate X scored a 2.5 in looks, a 5 in comfort, a perfect 10 in visibility, a 0 in heat efficiency, a 10 in weight, a 4 in protection, a 10 in value for the $50 price, and that came out to a grand total of 50.5 points. If we had to recommend a helmet for you to use this football season, it's got to be this. The Riddell Revo Speed. Up against a worthy adversary, but it performs like it will on the football field for you. I'm Dan. And I'm Michelle. And we're Football Universe. Stay classy.